Okay, page 100, section 1.5. Let's look at number 10. Number 10 here, we have x minus 3 is greater or equal to 7. For this, we are talking about inequality. For inequality equation, we solve like the regular equation. We want to solve for x. So first, let's get rid of the negative 3. So plus 3, plus 3. So my x is greater or equal to 10. Okay, to graph this, for this book, okay, for less than or greater than, when we graph, we are using bracket. Okay, we are using bracket. The point T is point to the, okay, let's draw this a little bit clear. We are using parentheses, okay, we are using the parentheses. Point is point to the left, so we draw our arrow to the left. Parenthesis point to point to right, so we're going to draw arrow to the right. If we have greater or less than like this with equal sign, okay, little line under it. For this, we must use bracket. Okay, this we're using bracket. So bracket, the point is point to the right, so I draw my arrow to the right. Here my pointy point to the left. Okay, so my arrow point to the right. Okay, after you solve, let's draw this. Okay, let's draw this. So first, draw your number line. Always indicate zero. Always write down zero, okay? Positive 10 is on the right-hand side of the zero. So put 10 over here. For this, we have equal sign. So we're going to use the bracket. So bracket on the 10. Draw my arrow to the right. The last step is called the interval notation. For interval notation, you follow the graph. So bracket 10, you going to the positive side, no stop, okay, non-stop, so it'll be a positive infinity, so you draw your infinity sign. On the infinity side, always parenthesis. Okay, next, let's look at number 14. Number 14, we have 2x is greater than negative 10. So let's get rid of the 2. We want x by itself, so divide everything by 2. So my x is greater than negative 5. After that, let's graph this. So right down the 0, negative 5 is on the left-hand side. For this, no equal sign, so we're going to use the parenthesis on the negative 5. Point is point to the right, so I draw my arrow to the right. Last step, interval notation. Follow the graph, so parenthesis on the negative 5. It going to the right hand side. Every time you point to the right hand side, it'll be a positive infinity. So I'm going to draw my positive infinity. Then close parenthesis. Now, let's look at number 16. Number 16. We have a negative 2 over 3x is less equal to 12. Okay, for this. Step one, let's get rid of my denominator. My denominator is three, so I go multiply three to both sides of the equation. If your denominator is five, you multiply five to both sides. Why your denominator is, you multiply that number to both sides of the equation. The reason I multiply exactly the same number, you see these three and my bottom three, the denominator I can cancel out. So no more fraction. So I only have a negative two x is less equal to 36. After that, I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. So here, be careful, okay? When you divide or multiply a negative, the negative number, okay? When you divide or, multiply a, divide or multiply a negative number, you must switch your inequality sign, okay? You must switch to the opposite side, okay? So here I have x is squared or equal to negative 18, okay? Then after that, let's graph this. Again, always write down 0. Negative 18 is over here. So this time with equal sign. So I must use a bracket on the 18. Draw my arrow to the right. Last step, interval notation. Interval notation, follow the graph, okay? So bracket on the negative 18. Again, every time point to the right will be positive infinity. Close parenthesis. Infinity side, always parenthesis. Now, let's look at number 22. Number 22. 
Number 22, we have 3x minus 1 over 4 is greater than 5. Fraction again, so step 1. <coughs> Let's get rid of my denominator. My denominator is 4. So I go multiply 4 to both sides of the equation. So here I can cancel my denominator. No more fraction. Then I have 3x minus 1 is greater than 20. So again, whatever your denominator is, you multiply the same number to both sides. So you can cancel your denominator. Okay. Now let's get rid of the negative 1. So plus 1 plus 1. So I have 3x is greater than 21. Then after that, divided by 3, so my x is greater than 7. Now, we can draw, to draw my graph. So right, draw your number line, 0 here, 0, 7. We saw equal sign, so we're going to use parentheses on the 7, arrow to the right. Last step, interval notation, so we parentheses 7, right again will be positive infinity. Okay, now if. Let's, let's, show you, let's show you an if. Now if at the end you have x is less than 7. Okay, for this, always indicate your 0, okay? 7 is over here. Then this time, we're going to use the parentheses on the 7. But you point to the left, so you draw your arrow to the left. Ste last step. Interval notation, follow your graph, okay? So, parentheses 7, every time it's point to the right, uh, left, every time it's point to the left will be what? Negative side. So, be a negative infinity. If it point to the right, will be a positive infinity. If it point to the left, will be a negative infinity. Now, let's look at number 20, 26. Okay, 26, very important. Let's look at number 26. Number 26. I have 2x minus 8 is greater equal to negative 2x. Okay, for inequality equation like this, you must keep your x on the left. Do not put your x on the right. Okay, you must put your x on the left. So here I'm going to get rid of the 2x, negative 2x. So I'm going to plus 2x, plus 2x. So I'm going to keep all my x on the left. So I have, I have 4x. Minus a is greater or equal to 0. After that, let's get rid of the negative 8. So plus a plus 8. So 4x is greater or equal to 8. After that, divide everything by 4. So my x is greater or equal to 2. Then next, we're going to graph this. So 0, 2. This time we have equal signs, so bracket on the 2, point to the right, so draw your arrow to the right. Last step, interval notation, follow the graph. Again, point to the right will be a positive infinity. Now let's look at number, let's look at number 44. Number 44. Number 44, we have negative 1 is less than x plus 1 is less than 8. For this, we want to keep the x right in the middle. So step 1, get rid, get rid of the number in the middle. Okay, so let's get rid of the 1. So minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. So we have a negative 2 is less than x is less than 7. After that, let's graph this. So here, again, always put down your 0, okay? Always put down 0. If you only want to put down negative 2 and 7, make sure spacing is correct. So negative 2 is a little bit close to the 0. 7 is a little bit away from the 0, so 7 is over here. Then after that, no equal sign, so we'll use parentheses, so parentheses on the 2, then parentheses on the 7, then draw a line in between. Again, last step will be interval notation, follow the graph. So parenthesis, negative 2, 7, close parenthesis. Okay, I'm going to show you guys an if. Okay, if, okay. Now, we're still using the same number. Negative 2 is less than x, less than 7. Don't do this. This one is no, no. Okay, no, no, don't do this. Let me write down so you can see no, no. 
Okay, don't do this. Draw your number line. Zero, negative two, and seven. Okay, so I'm going to do this. You see? The spacing is what? The spacing is, is the same. But the what? Seven is a little bit far away from the zero. So if you want to only write down, write down two number, okay? Do not do this. Make sure your spacing is correct, okay? Do not do this. Make sure your spacing is correct. Next. Let's look at number 46. Number 46, negative 4 is less equal to x plus 3 is less equal to 10. Now let's get rid of the, the 3 right in the middle. So minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. So here I have a negative 7 is less equal to x is less equal to 7. Now both are 7, so the spacing should be the same. The space should be the same. So be 0, negative 7, and positive 7. This time with equal signs, so don't use a bracket on the negative 7, bracket on the 7, draw a line in between. Last step, interval notation, follow the graph. Bracket, negative 7, 7, close bracket. Next, let's look at number 50. Okay, number 50. Number 50, we have a negative 16 is less than 3x plus 2 is less than negative 10. So let's get rid of the 2. Okay, let's get rid of 2 in the middle. So minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. So here we have a negative 18 is less than 3x is less than negative 12. Then after that, we just want x. We don't want the 3, so divide everything by 3. So negative 6 is less than x is less than negative 4. And after that, let's grab this. Always write down 0, okay? So we have negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. Make sure your spacing is correct. So x is between negative 6 and negative 4. So use parentheses on six, negative 6, parentheses on negative 4, draw a line between. Last step, interval notation. So follow the graph, so be a negative 6, negative 4, close parenthesis. Next, let's look at number 56. Number 56, here we have a negative 3 is less equal to 3x plus 1 over 4 is less equal to 3. Now we have fraction again. Every time you have fraction, don't worry about fraction. Okay, let's first... Let's get rid of my denominator. My denominator is 4. So I'm going to multiply 4 in the middle and 4 to both sides of the equation. So you can see the 4 in the middle cancels out my denominator. So no more fraction. Okay. So here I have a negative 12 is less equal to 3x plus 1 is less equal to positive 12. Then after that, let's get rid of the 1. So minus 1, minus 1. So we have negative 13 is less equal to 3x is less equal to 11. Divide everything by 3. So we have negative 13 over 3 is less equal to x is less equal to 11, negative 11 over 3. Okay, for fraction, it's very hard for you to graph. So divide everything into decimal, divide into decimal. So this will be negative 4.3333. So negative 4.3 less equal to x is less equal to, oh, I'm sorry, over here, let's, let me change that. This will be a positive 3, not negative 3. So this will be a positive number. Okay, this will be a positive number. Okay, this will be a positive number. Let me, let me erase that. Okay, let me erase that. Okay, let me erase the negative. Okay, sorry. So this will be... This will be negative 3.6, positive 3.6. I'm sorry, this will be positive 3.6. After that, let's graph this. So when you graph this, if it's a decimal or fraction, okay, make sure you put the two number on each side. So here, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. This will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 4.3. Somewhere over here, 
there's a bracket, so this will be a negative 4.3, okay, 3.6, somewhere close to the 4, so 3.6. After that, draw a line in between. Last step, interval notation, follow the graph, so bracket, negative 4.3, then 3.6, close bracket.